Welcome to Illuminati Silver. It's Tuesday, the 2nd of November 2021 at 0819 AM GMT plus one. The weather today is inclement, cumulus nimbus threatening. Yes, the weather's not that great, but there are black clouds in the sky, but at the same time, part of the sky has some white clouds. So we're having a threatening, inclement, cumulus nimbus morning. But we are in the far west of Wales on holiday, and this is why our sound is not as good as normal, and we apologise for that. We don't have a mobile microphone to plug into the laptop. Now, there are some clouds on the horizon for the economy and also for those involved in climate change, which, as we know, nations of the world are meeting to discuss at the COP26 how they're going to deal with climate change moving forward. And Modi urges at $1 trillion dollars to help India's transition. But we're a little more interested in some of the economic news specifically and threats for this coming Christmas. China urges family to keep stocks of daily necessities ahead of winter. The Chinese government has told families to keep daily necessities in stock in case of emergencies after COVID-19 outbreaks and unusually heavy rains that caused a surge in vegetable prices, raising concerns about supply shortages. Yes, indeed. And we are potentially experiencing this in the United Kingdom as well. The main headline, though, on the BBC for us in the UK, because Whilst the Fed's FOMC is meeting on Wednesday and revealing their interest rate and bond buying tapering program, we in the UK on Thursday have the Bank of England declaring what it is doing with interest rates. And as you can see from the heading, why UK interest rates could rise this week. Borrowing money in the United Kingdom is now as cheap as it ever was, and it's been that way for years, but perhaps not for much longer. The country's main interest rate set by the Bank of England has been below 1% since 2009 in the wake of the global financial crisis. In March 2020, as the coronavirus pandemic caused the biggest economic slowdown for centuries, the rate was cut to an all-time low of 0.1%. But now the tide is turning and that era of ultra cheap money could be coming to an end. The first in a series of rate rises could come as early as this week, with the bank's rate setting monetary policy committee due to pronounce on Thursday. If it does lift interest rates, many people with a mortgage will face higher repayments since lenders will seek to increase their rates in line with the bank's decision. However, savers will be hoping for a far better return on their money. Well, even if rates go up a quarter percent, that's not going to make a huge difference to savers, but a quarter percent on people's mortgages, which are already far stretched in many cases, would make a difference. In the United States, we have the gubernatorial battle in uh, Virginia between the Republican and Democrat governors how Virginia's governor race explains U.S. politics, and it is seen by many as a verdict on the Biden presidency. And talking about Biden's presidency, he's been captured. Was Biden asleep or just resting his eyes at COP26? U.S. top courts, hears Texas abortion law challenges and the limits on Biden's power to help save the planet. So basically, we have headlines which are not really that encouraging. And Musk has tweeted ancient Chinese poem impossible note to crypto spat. Some pointed to the rivalry between two crypto coins, Dogecoin and Shiba Inu, to explain Musk's tweet. He still manages to hit the headlines just on Twitter. 
Good news for Britain. France pulls back in Brexit fish row, gives talks more time. On the energy front, we have oil prices more or less remaining unchanged, with WTI crude at just under $84 and Brent crude just under 85 The dollar index has dipped ever so slightly just below the 94 level. Stocks in America yesterday broadly up about a quarter of a percent. Asia overnight broadly down half a percent. And in Europe and UK, slightly mixed only in that the DAX index is showing a positive result of 02 but the rest of the market seems to be down around a quarter of a percent. Now, economic news important. Yesterday, we had the market manufacturing PMI for October come in at 58.4, which was lower than expectations and lower than the September figure. But the ISM manufacturing index came in slightly above expectations, but lower than the September figure. Construction spending for September was down. Today, we have the home ownership rate, but tomorrow, Thursday and Friday will be the key dates where we have employment and services and factory orders and then the huge non-farm payrolls on Friday. So a lot to look forward to. Gold and silver are holding up well. We have gold up $9 and now only just over $7 short of that key 1800 target at 17.92. We have silver doing quite well, up 17 cents at 23.98, just below that $24 level, although it did breach it earlier today. As we've said in our weekly updates, we're going to expect gold and silver to sort of hover between sort of the support level of 23.50 to just over 24, and gold between 17.50 and just over 1,800 until the announcement tomorrow be under no illusions tomorrow is key cryptocurrency market broadly unchanged with a market cap at 2.65 trillion and for those who despise cryptos will be pleased to hear um, but those investing in cryptos won't be pleased to hear of a scam that has occurred and this is the danger when investing in cryptocurrencies squid game crypto token collapses in apparent scam a digital token inspired by the popular south korean netflix series squid game has lost almost all of its value as it was revealed to be an apparent scam that's it for now have a great day everyone if you like our video give us a thumbs up subscribe press the bell sign until next time, and yesterday we produced two videos, so please tune in to those. Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.